you know, if you're still here right now, it's because you're digging this fly ass music to get you hyped up for shit talking Sundays, fitness tip of the week. And, uh, you know, this is uh, one of my favorite days of the week because we talk about making yourself healthy. For me, um, I am all about trying to live longer. So I have um, recruited the one, the only uh, Vince the Beast with Team Fitness Major to come in once a week and give us some type of fitness tip that will help us to all live just a little bit longer. So without further ado, do what's up? Hey, what's up with you? It's the beast. You, what's going down? How you doing, man? Yo, man you well as always, you know. Hey, man, every time we have a conversation, it's always a positive thing because uh, you try to get everybody healthy. We try to give them the, 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 the steps to for success. We don't want to set nobody up for failure. We want you to live long and uh, be able to continue your legacy and... Um, basically um teach your legacy so the, the the longer that you can live on this earth the longer you can promote your legacy so follow his steps i, I don't know what it is about today and and want to preach legacy but you know what we have to we have to leave a legacy for our children you know i actually i think i know what it is Vince. it, it uh, it's the fact I, I started doing this life insurance stuff and I'm starting to learn so much about it that um, us as middle class or lower, uh, below middle class, the poor sector, um, we have been taught to be um, mentally weak. And sometimes we should talk about more than just physical uh, fitness we should talk about mental fitness because that that matters but hey Absolutely. that's for another that, that, that's for another story let, let's let you uh go ahead and and talk about your tip i don't know what it was about today but hey do your no, thing. i mean i mean that 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 is that is so important i mean i mean that's, that's what i talk about it's one again one of my four pillars um if you guys haven't listened you guys haven't been into the show you guys are missing out as always i keep saying it i mean you guys keep keep missing out so make sure you're not make sure you're logging in make sure you're liking subscribing and sharing all this with everybody that you know because everybody can come get a bar of this and it's necessary for everyone so yeah like you say i mean you know i mean mental anxiety stress i mean depression all that plays a role um Especially, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's it's a it's a grind as anybody that has their own business or has their own thing going, has their own passion, even if it's a hobby, and you are really active in it, you know, it creates a, a level of anxiety and stress because you know you want to get out there, you want to promote yourself, you want to promote what you're doing because you care about what you're doing, and you want people to understand and know that, and you want people to get a, to get an understand of how that can help benefit them. And I mean, of course, that is so important to make sure that you keep your your mind right. So finding the avenue for that, that's gonna be a good. Sh- that'd be a good show. We will we will table that one, and we can definitely comment yeah. on that in detail a lot sure. more. So other than but that, it is national. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say what. Uh, besides that, man, let, let, let's jump in, man. I, I you know time's wasting. I know people are here for a reason. They want as much of this free. Uh, fitness uh tip is they can get you know uh free 90 free or or if you don't want the one piece and you want the two three four five piece you can get this number right here that i, I put on the screen and you can get a free consultation call with vince the beast that 916-410-1950 will get you direct to him it it's set on vibrate so even when he's out and about uh, training, whatever, it will ring and you can interrupt his session to find out uh, when he can pencil you in to help give you the gains or the losses that you're looking for. <laughs> oh, and, and matter of fact, if you don't like that because you want to be a little bit more discreet because you're a little shy, then 
How about this? I will give you his email address and website that you can reach out to him. And there's no excuses. The only the only excuse you will have is the fact that you take the first step. Uh, and and look, just because I'm a really, really, really nice guy, I'm AG the dad. I'm gonna give you my number and I will reach out to him for you and mitigate this for you just to be nice okay so there's no excuses for you not to uh at least try to reach out and be more healthy once again his number 916-410-1950 my number 916 i mean a 912-486-5010 um will get you mine um but that being said bro do your thing, man. I'm, 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 I'm about to shut the f up while you do your thing. Uh, it's all good, man. You know, I love the interaction. So, uh, it is National Immunization Month. I don't know if they did that because of you know they cut put that together because of school year or what. But um, I, I mean, I know this time of year a lot of people are starting. Kids are starting school again, and a lot of people, a lot of kids um, also need to get caught up on their immunizations. For school, for sports, and all that rec other recreation. So, but it is National Immunization Month, so uh, definitely check in with your doctor. You know, do a check in, make sure you're doing all right, check all the boxes, make sure you're healthy and well enough to get in there and crush it in the gym to do that intense training to help achieve and and increase your your, your results. So, but um, we're not going to talk about. We're going to talk a lot more about about food choices. And um, I actually did a, a live stream this morning. So, and this was a topic beforehand, but this morning I did a live stream. I wasn't even talking about this. I was talking about something completely different. Um, so, you know, check it out on my Instagram, Team Fitness Major. Also, uh, check me out at uh, Vince to be Singletary uh, on our Fitness Major on on um, Facebook. But. We was uh, they have posed the question like how do you make healthy choices when you are moving and shaking you know when you're on the go when you are uh going from point a to point b to c d e f all the way to z you know we have a lot of people that are parents uh see, i just talked about immunizations and getting checkups for sports and 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 going in school uh, you know a lot of parents i mean i you know, hear it all the time um this time of year they, they got kids, they got to take them to school. They got to pick them up from school. Uh, they have uh, practices for sports, uh, different ballet, a whole bunch of different activities that they do. They have music, whatever, whatever. So parents are like on the go and combining that with working. So whatever else they have they have going on. So, you know, you're, you're constantly on the go. So, or, 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 or uh, another thing is people are also out and getting back, you know, going out to eat and going to different functions and events, uh, trying to get that last minute summer fun in. So, you know, going to different dinners and, and different things like that, barbecues. And, you know, one of the, the question was, how do you make healthy choices when you're on the go? So, which ties into today's thing about uh, curving your overconsumption. So what I mean by that is by curbing your overconsumption. And if you guys have any questions, uh, if you have any comments, uh, we're live. So type in, you know, if you don't want to call, like AG said, if you just want to drop a line, you want to pop a question, you want to make a comment, please do so. Because, yeah, now we, this is interactive. This is live. This is for you. Uh, this is free 99. So come and get a bar of this. But. Um, but overconsumption, you know, when, when you're going out, basically, with all the things I just mentioned. So I want to talk about, you know, different different ways and different strategies, um, a way to avoid that. And obviously, the importance of doing this is to not to uh, derail any of your gains that you're doing when you are, you know, on your fitness journey, whether you're just coming back whether you've been going for since the beginning of the year, whether you've been consistent throughout uh, for years on, on, on the end, uh, whether you fell off for a minute and just trying to get back on the on that stride, 
whatever the case is, um, there's a lot of adjustments, especially this time of year, like I just mentioned with school and people working and uh, last and holidays coming up. We got another holiday coming up next weekend. So traveling. So there's so many different things going on as, as, as any time of year, but you know, different times of year have different events. So how do we curve that? How do we check that to make sure that we don't, you know, over consume when we're going from play to the, and that, you know what, you can even add in over consuming while you're just staying at home. Cause we all know about the whole couch potato uh, you're sitting around, you're watching TV. A lot of people are working from home. Um, you're, 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 you're doing school from home, whatever you're doing. You're sitting around and, and you're bored, you're watching movies or whatever. You know, you want to grab a snack. So this can also apply to those that are remote workers that are, con are constantly just chilling around, have some idle time or close to their refrigerators things like that this applies to all different styles and shapes is that a snack for you or is that a snack for the for the killer okay what's that there you go almonds almonds are a good snack they're on the list i'm not an, um... protein and your healthy fats I'm not endorsed by them, but um, I'm definitely going to um, promote them. Uh, I love almonds. So I've never yeah. been like an almond eater. I just started. I still can't eat. Like, like you just ate those. I can't do that. It has to be in something. Oh, and even man. If I'm so limited. I do like the almond peanut butter for whatever reason. But almonds are... When you compare with the nuts, like almonds and walnuts are are the top. Peanuts really are very so low on any type of nutritional value. But you know what? Have you ever had boiled peanuts? I the have. South? Man, if you haven't had boiled peanuts, go to the south. That's where they do it at real big. And that, man, it gives you a whole different outlook on peanuts because boiled peanuts is 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 pretty good. I'm trying to remember. I think I did. I think I had them when I was in. It was either Atlanta or, or New Orleans. I don't remember. That's probably good. You know, it was one of those two. I do remember yeah. that. It was, it was a lot of years ago. Yeah, they probably had baked ones out there too. But uh, the overconsumption, the only reason I kind of chimed in is because I know that after dinner and, you know, kind of doing these podcasts, you're, you wind down, you're thinking about all kinds of different things. And um, I snack in the middle of the night. And mm -hmm. just coming from, the, I guess, the ending portion of this concussion, um, I've actually, you know, I, I know that I've definitely put on some weight in the midsection from all the late night um, potato chips, um, uh, flavored popcorn, uh, uh, you know, uh, cookies and, and things of that nature. And, 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 now that I'm getting ready to really get back into the gym because now I feel better, um, I know it's going to be a hard grind. I already see it because I'm already, I, I've done six to eight months of over consumption and I built a habit of loving to eat right before I go to bed because I'm trying to gain weight and um, I still weigh the same as I did when I was at my best with all muscle. So I know that once I get back in the gym, I should really gain some good weight. Yeah. I mean, you definitely can. And, and I'm, I'm, and that's brings and that's funny that you say that because I'll tell you a quick story about that in a minute, but, but yeah, I mean, um, you know, definitely, you know, if, if now, you know, of course you might, you know, because you're kind of a hard gainer, so you might lose a couple pounds, maybe up to five, maybe, maybe not. But if that's fine, if you build, if you build it into muscle, maybe in the beginning I might lose a little bit. But you know yeah. what? I've noticed that whenever I work out, I never really lose weight unless I start off and go go too hard by uh, adding the sauna in right away. 
if I if I go in that sauna, then I, I'll shed all this extra water weight that I have. So, you know, I don't know, but 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 it, it, it's, it is a good thing to still have to maintain that weight, um, you know, uh, definitely. But but of course, the snacks, because people don't think about it, those snacks will, will double up. And, and maybe I need to send you. I have to. I know they're on my. I have the. I have the pictures. But my first year competing. Now, as you say, you know, you had that steady, that same weight. My first year competing. So I did my. I did. I went crazy. I did six shows in that year, mm-hmm. between April and November. I did six competitions. Okay. And the very first show I did. I, I I walked on stage or the night before at least I was 180 pounds and then my last show which um, the first show I did was in Oakland the last one I did was in Reno in November uh, about a, about two weeks before Thanksgiving I walked on stage again exactly the same weight 180 pounds and when I when I when I send you those pictures, you're gonna be like, that's not the same dude. Not I mean, it was. And I mean, I mean, of course, I'm I'm you know I'm muscular, but the difference is so contrast. And the main one of the main reasons was that it looked so different because my first show, I man. So because I was so busy doing all shows, some of the shows was like only two weeks apart. Mm-hmm. So. I was like, I barely came off of any type. I barely came off of my diet. So I would like take the night off, the night of the morning, or maybe a day or two. But then I'm back on it. I right. think the most I took off in that whole span was maybe five days. So I was constantly in a diet and training cycle throughout mm-hmm. that, basically the whole year because you start to start to train to compete. Typically, I started in January for my first show, which again was um in april so mm-hmm. i was i was dieting the whole year i met have seen you you were you were really cut ripped like probably had no body fat maybe two percent <laughs> you know when i went to yeah when i did the the reno show um i was at 2.6 it was see it was stupid it was wasn't even it, it made no sense <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I've yeah. never been that lean. The only, you know, for me at, at my age as a dad, my goal is uh, I would like to see as close to a six pack ab as I can get. Because, um, I mean, I'm still I'm still in decent shape other mm-hmm. than my gut. Other than that, I'm, you know, so for me, I, I want that Washburg washboard stomach i want to be able to go to the to the pool or to the lake take my shit off and and not be looking like oh man he definitely has a dad bod that's ag the dad bod no i don't want that i want you know that's ag the dad i want i want i want him to say it with you know with the chest you know that's ag the dad right there yeah we we gotta we gotta we gotta change we gotta change that mantra you know dad bods and they think people are looking that is cool. that's, that's they got amazing. bigger stomach than pecs and all that other stuff. Yeah, dad, dad bods. I'm sorry to and, say, dad and they bods. Have shirts, they have some some bodybuilder cats. I know they. I don't know them personally, but I've seen them at different expos. They have shirts, dad bod shirts, and they're mm-hmm. in good shape. So you know, it's funny. You know, there's other people that have that same life mind. Say, I want to say, oh yeah, look, that's a dad bod. Like, that's yeah, a dad yeah. bod. That overconsumption, <laughs> bro. For me. Um, when I was growing up, you remember, I was 110, 115, 120 pounds at the most. When I graduated high school, I think I was like maybe 117 pounds, somewhere around there, graduating high school. So I was small as shit. So I've always wanted, I mean, you know, when, when no disrespect to anybody who's overweight, but I know when fat people used to say, man, I wish I was skinny. I used to pray the exact opposite. Man, I wish I was fat. And um, like I said, no disrespect to fat people. Now that I have uh, no longer, you know, a flat stomach and, you know, all that. Um, I'm not going to say fat ain't cool because it's definitely warmer in the winter. 
but it, 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 it's a lot to carry around. I, I, I would much rather be in shape and healthy than walking around overweight. So I'm not going to push the dad bod as uh, extendo bellies. I will push dad bods as washboard when you pull up at the pool. Um, your significant other, um, their friends are looking at you jealous going, damn, my man's body don't look like her man's body. So for me, that's that's a dad bod, okay? So let, let, let's change the norm. And from now on, ladies, dad bods are, are abs. You know, um, yes, I know we're, we're, we're towards the end of summer and winter's getting ready to come in and it's going to start getting cold and you want to snuggle up with a little bit of heat from the extra weight that's in your bed. But you know what? Extra weight is extra weight. So let's not just assume that uh, you have to have a sloppy, uh, big belly kind of guy. Look, I'm saying this only to encourage you to eat more healthier and work out and do not overconsume. And me, look, I'm skinny, fat. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm thin, but I got the I, I got the, the the beer belly ish, and I don't even drink. That's the messed up part. So that's how I know it's overconsumption of a whole bunch of carbohydrates and stuff like that. So, you know, um, I think one of these next one or two episodes, we need to be in the gym. We need to shoot an episode in a gym or working out so we can actually show some people exactly how we really got to get down because talk is cheap. Actually speak louder than words. We can start a before and after. Um, you know, I know um off camera you said stuff about i hate those challenges but you know what i'm, I'm gonna give people a, a 60 day challenge i challenge anybody that wants to come on here hit me on my inbox and um let's see who can get in better shape we'll take some measurements and we'll make it happen and if you can beat me i will pay for uh, a, a session of um of training with vince the beast okay so you're in a win-win if you beat me. If you don't beat me, then you pay for my lunch or dinner um, because I'm be hungry as hell because I ain't gonna let you win. So just understand, uh, and, and I'm not cheap. I'm not. I'm not gonna be a cheap date. Uh, we're not going to. Um, no disrespect to Sizzlers, but we're not going to Sizzlers. You know, uh, we uh, we might have to step it up. We don't have to go to uh, you know some. Uh, uh, VIP Steakhouse, you know, I, I, I could live with uh, Texas Roadhouse, not saying that they're not VIP because they're really good. I, that's one of my favorite places. So um, open challenge. There you go, everybody. Challenge, challenge is out. Challenge we'll is step up out. And, take it. Uh, and, and we'll motivate each other. There's my email address, agthedad at shittalkingsundays.com because I'm shit talking. Sundays right now because every day is shit talking Sundays and here's my direct number if you just want to call me leave me a message and, and call me out and um, we can videotape some uh, measurements or we can meet up at uh, a gym and uh, we can we can start this challenge but I'm offering I'm bringing to the table a um, a free uh, training session with Vince the Beast with Team Fitness Major uh, if you um, if you can beat me you want to do 30 days you want to do 60 days you want to do 90 days i don't care you want to do one week i mean we can go hard i mean it's up to you open challenge to let's whoever go. else who wants it? let's go who wants it who so, wants it but anyway uh you can continue talking about what you was talking about i just wanted to chime in for a second oh yeah definitely yeah i mean i i i, I like the energy because again that's going to hopefully that's going to spark somebody to step up to the challenge either with you or just step up to the challenge in general so that's that's hey, that's yes. what the whole show is about the look i don't do people. this yes this show is not made i'm not making money at this if you want to donate please the 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 donation uh link is in the description please uh i would appreciate it but i do this specifically to try to get the word out there that Shit talking does not have to be synonymous with negativity. Sometimes you got shit to say, and let's talk some shit and keep it positive. No racism, no bullying, and let's educate each other. Let's think outside the box, and uh, let's learn to think a little deeper. You know, uh, 
on on the serious side of things, yes, eating too much um, is very unhealthy. Um, sometimes, sometimes people eat out of just pure nervousness, um, just like people bite their fingernails. As oh, there's a, a a OCD for everybody. Nobody is not OCD. Everybody. I'm not a doctor, but that's just AG the dad's uh, diagnosis. Not a PhD, not a nothing, but I, I've definitely raised kids, so I can say that uh, I have a doctor and in kids. <laughs> Absolutely. So. Yeah, you know, I've got kids too, so I understand that. So, so it, we, I do see we have someone in the box who chimed in that says sometimes when going out, I decide what to eat. Uh, beforehand in order first to avoid eating too much um, th th that is a great strategy as well and so let me so when we right, right, we're about to get into this so I'm not saying that don't go out and enjoy something so when I say over consuming it doesn't mean you if you're going to some place you know if you're going to uh, uh, what's that place uh, uh, I'm not trying, I'm trying to remember the name now. Uh, Cheesecake Factory, or you're going to a place like that that has a lot, or or has a lot of rich foods. You know, it, it's this it, is kind of hard. Are you going to a pasta place, uh, or Italian? You know, places that you know you're not going to find. You know, the the leanest, healthiest meal there. Or even if you know, if you go to a friend's house, or you you know to to uh, to eat, you guys so someone's having a potluck or they're having a party, whatever. I'm not saying that you can't eat, you know, what you want. The point of the, the point of this whole topic is to not go there and just go ham and just, you know, how you, uh, you know, how when we used to go to the barbecues, it's like, oh man, there's a barbecue today. I'm, or there's a buffet today. I'm not eating nothing. I'm not going to eat a damn thing until I get there. I'm gonna I'm gonna save all my all my waistline uh, uh, space for that food. Um, yeah. Yes, I'm guilty for that. Shout out to Thunder Valley. Uh, I know there's another casino out in Elk Grove. If uh, you want to shout out, hey, you know what? Uh, welcome me like Thunder Valley welcomes me, and it's all good because uh, their hotels is off the hook. But anyway, um, yeah, their buffets when they used to have all you can eat crab legs man i used to wait and and i would i wouldn't get anything else except plates and plates of crab legs and they used to have the king crab legs on an occasion here and there yeah, and they, do that. they would do them every blue moon those king crab i would and then they would do the blue crab sometimes um man. i was there i used so, to go i used to go like early afternoon before the rush got there you know, those lines got long around four or five o'clock. So I would be there like one, two in the afternoon, ready to go. So I, <laughs> yeah, I, the lines got long, but I had to hook up one of my, one oh, of my good see, friends. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the dad. So, you know, I don't I, have that. I don't have that type of uh, caliber. Hey, you know, hey, 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 you know, we all have goals. It. We all have dreams. Stop it. You already know who you connected with. Stop it. Uh, it's the beast. Nobody holds the beast back when the beast wants in, the beast gets in. So don't start that stuff because you already know. But, uh, you know, um, man, overconsumption, you know, people, that's why gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. Because it is really important that people understand everything that you do exceedingly i mean excessively is bad for you everything i don't care what it is that you do if you do it too much eventually it's going to catch up to you and it's going to be harmful to you even if you're a, let's say you're a pitcher and you pitch balls uh at, at a baseball game uh you eventually are going to throw your shoulder out because you do it too much or enough everything in in um in moderation you know uh if, if you throw it if you throw in all the innings 
as hard as you can, your lifespan of being a pitcher is going to be limited. If you're only pitching when you need to pitch uh, because you're that guy who's the assassin and they bring you in when they really need to take certain people out, then boom, you know, you have a very long career. But uh, with that being, you know, said, just like eating. That's why even though some things are your favorite, don't wear it out. So, so yeah, so, you know, so to what her, back to, to her thing real quick, um, going there, I mean, ordering your food early is, is a good way to do it, of course, um, whether it's ordering your meal or you're ordering, you know, ordering a, a light snack like a salad or, or it's just something light or more health-based. And, you know, I'm, I'm just to be, just to keep it 1,000 with y'all. I mean, don't be wrong. I do like to get appetizers sometimes, depending on where I go. But I mean, nowadays, man, we're in the era where appetizers is almost as much as a meal. So, some of them depends on where you go. So, you know, all the way with you, and to help, you know, we're about finding solutions. Not, you know, we got talking about bringing that stress level down. You know, making sure that you're not overspending as well as overconsuming. Just, just buy some snacks. Eat, you know, depending on what time of day, I'm gonna give you a couple scenarios. But eat a couple, eat a snack or something before you even go out. You know, eat something like before you go out. So, th- let's say you are going to uh, a lunch in, and it's catered and whatnot, and you know you are trying to st- stay on a, a regimen. You know, you know, make sure you eat breakfast, or if it's a later, like you know, more towards lunch, slap close to dinner time. You know, maybe three, four o'clock. Make sure that you get a snack. Um, there's, I mean, there's so many things you can do. You can have salads, you can have almonds. Um, you can have some fruit. You can have some vegetables, uh, some yogurt, uh, protein shake. There's so many things you can do to just just to do that like 30, 45 minutes before you go. That way, when you get there, that will start to set in, and you're not. You know, you're not, you're kind of satiated enough to where you don't have to overload the plate or you don't have to eat a whole, you know, go back for seconds. Um, you can just enjoy a little bit of everything or if you want to go that route or the select things that you like, maybe put a little bit more of the few things that you like on there. But it would be to a point where you're not going out and you're just going in and going ham like we was talking about at the buffet. Um Another thing you can do, uh, say it's dinner time, and and say you know depending on where you go, say it's a, like I just mentioned one of the places that like a pasta, Italian or something, where of course it's going to be heavier foods. I, I I say recommend to just eat eat dinner before you go. Maybe just eat like a light dinner, so that that way when you get there you can just have a small portion. Depending on where you go, you know, a lot, if I'm talking about Italian places. And, things like that. A lot of them don't even come with small portions. But what you can do is you can eat a little bit because you already ate, so you're feeling you're all right. You need a little bit of that and get it to go box. Take, bring it home, save that for another day and ration out. Or give it to your kids, give it to your spouse or whatever. Give it to your roommate. So there's so many different ways you can do it, but by doing this and creating this habit of doing that, one, it will save some, you know, depending on if you're paying or not, it can save some money in your pocket. And it also can provide you with a, a, a way of not going there and coming home full. Now, especially if it's a dinner time deal, uh, coming home full uh, in, in this evening time or late at night. And now you are, home, you know, you can't sleep. We talked about before how the stuff the stuff is just setting in your stomach and your digestive system is working while you're trying to rest, which can cause you to have a restless night. Um, if you're on the go, you know I talked about talked in the beginning those that are moving around point A to B, C, and and so forth. Uh, bring some healthy snacks. Like I said, you know, let's talk about almonds, walnuts. We talked about some fruits, simple fruits. We talked about uh, vegetables. Um, if you have a little one, if you like a little mini cooler, you know, you can put like some yogurt or some different things like that. You might have to keep cool or chill. You can pack some of those. 
and just move around and when you're trying to eat um definitely snack on that but even with that even with healthy snacks you still want to be cautious and be aware of when you're snacking because little snacks here and there can all add up it adds up we talked about calories before it can add up so make sure that mm -hmm. you are i'm not saying you have to set your timer i mean that's that's you know high end that's can be ex extreme if, but but at least keep an eye okay this is one o'clock okay i had i had a snack so i don't want to have, to have a snack again at 1 30 or 1 45 or two o'clock you don't want to be snacking hourly and i know when you are sitting around when you're bored like you know if you're sitting there watching your kids play sports and you're just sitting there or they're in, in a class and you can't go in you're sitting in the car you know just idle time you want to just start grabbing and snacking grabbing you want to just have put you want to have something going from hand to mouth and and you know you want to avoid that because yeah if you're just sitting around and you're doing and you're not doing anything um just like if you're going out and you're just buying something big on the plate and you haven't ate you're going to naturally want to eat more and we all know we all been there at every restaurant you go you eat your food you're eating uh the way the way the waitress comes around they see that that thing is about three quarters or so gone oh so are we doing dessert tonight you know that's so you want to avoid that impulse but yes we are because now you know again now you're eating I mean, and I don't know, there might be some, I don't really know a place or, or any type of healthy desserts, maybe some healthier than others, but it's called dessert for a reason, people. So if it's a dessert, typically it's going to be something that you probably shouldn't be having on top of the meal you just ate and if you get an appetizer. So the whole point is to unless you're fasting kind of go throughout the day like they say a cattle and graze or to feel like you're satiated at least until you get to around the, the time so say your 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 feeding clock is every four hours so four meals a day every four hours say that's your clock you want to you want to be okay um for at least three of those hours three three and a half hours you don't want because you, you, you don't want to be sitting there and you're starving for two hours and sometimes you know when you're training and you're training intensely or if exercise is new to you you may be hungry a lot quicker than that i mean there's times where i've ate a meal and an hour and a half later I'm, i feel like i haven't ate all day and you know sometimes your metabolism may be kicked in and maybe in overdrive that can happen that will happen sometimes but um i think that's just chinese food no i mean it's whatever <laughs> every time i eat chinese food i don't care an hour hour and a half later it's time to eat again it's uh, it's that msg man it's, it's that msg that's what it is <laughs> mm -hmm. or, 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 it's, or it's working out two two days for me hey, you know i don't know man that should that should be fire and it's supposed to be hella calories yeah, man um that's why you know the only way that i've ever had like close to rock board no uh, washboard stomach is when i had a tooth pull and i couldn't eat for like 30 days because my I, I got dry socket and all kind man it was all bad and uh yeah so lack of food you don't recommend doing that way to get your six pack hey man lack of food will make you will get you there so you know, 30 days, one can, one, two, maybe three cans of soup a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 30 days. That's 90 cans of soup. Yes, I counted. I know. Um, and after that, you will have, you will have lost a, a, a substantial amount of your belly fat uh, if you just eat um, chicken noodle soup three times a day for 30 days. Now, uh, if you decide to take that on, Consult with your doctor first and see if it's healthy for you. It worked for me. What worked for me may not work for you, so that's my disclaimer. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just, I'm just saying that's what I did. And if you choose to do it, 
um, consult your consult somebody who knows better than me. Now, uh, Vince the Beast, do you recommend that as a certified personal trainer? Uh, doing just like a uh, basically a liquid diet uh, for thirty days. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, I I hardly agree with you. First and foremost, do um, consult with your nutritionist or your doctor because you you know people people uh, different have different uh, things going on with from diabetes and so on and so forth, and they also have. Um, you know, may have some you know, different other things going on that pressures, that may, like that. may create an imbalance for them. So right. you definitely want to check with that first and foremost. But as far as, say, you know, the, the soups and stuff, I mean, I'm not talking about the, I'm not trying to throw any particular brand under the bus, but I'm not talking about like the, the Campbell's or the, the baseline soups, the commercial stuff. But like, yes, eating like some good soup, even, I, I, like one place I really like to go to has this pho soup that's really good. Mm, yeah. But 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 good thing about that soup is you have a lot of nutrients in there, and and the vegetables that are prepared with it, mm -hmm. you don't lose if long and you you drink the broth you do not lose the nutrients of it, and because it's not overcooked, you don't lose the nutrition nutritional value that is in the the vegetables and even in the proteins like if it's chicken or whatnot so definitely soup especially if you drink the broth because a lot of times they use like a chicken broth or a bone broth mm -hmm. and that is if you can if if you can add that into your diet itself now they even have start offs like you know uh daily starters of drinking like a bone broth or something or i can't I can't do the broth by itself. Like that, just, just drinking it by itself, that doesn't do work for me. Bone broth? Yeah, just drinking it by itself. Nothing else. Just bone yeah, broth. Yeah, I ain't never, I ain't never done that. But let I'll me tell it. you, look, uh, if you don't know anything about pho or really good um, nutritional soups, um, get yourself an Asian. I'm not saying you have to get an Asian girl. Uh, if you're a guy, get an Asian girl. If you're if you're a girl, get an Asian guy. Or I mean, if you're a guy, get an Asian guy. I don't I, I don't care what you do. Get an Asian. They know how, and they know an Asian friend. I'm not saying for anything other than that. But Asian people, they know nutritional soups really well. And and I can say that because I'm half Asian, and I and I enjoy my soups. That's why I say soup three times a day. Um, and the reason I know that it, it is healthy for at least for me is if you think about all the Asian countries who are that live on the coastline, uh, most of them, a lot of them are third world countries still in some places. And they have little fishing villages who, for the most part, all they eat is seafood um, all day, every day. And meat is not a primary diet, at least not meat in the respect that we look at it. So, you know, um, it, it can be very, there, there, there's creative ways of giving yourself 30 days of nutritional cleanse where you can lose some considerable body fat um, yeah. and just cleansing your, your whole body, your colon, every, you'll be surprised what 30 days of liquid does to your colon does uh, fluid and water is the lubricant of your body. That's why our bodies are made up of more liquid than anything else. Kind of like, that's why our bodies don't function very well with holes in them. So just saying. And, 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 and with this, I mean, to answer the question, I, I mean, if, if everything checks out and you're good to go with that, absolutely. I mean, I'm not saying 30 days or do it for two weeks, however you want to do it. But, but yeah, doing a, a, a liquid, a soup diet like that, um, especially if you throw, like, if you throw, you know, some shrimp in there, you throw some, you know, you throw chicken tom tom, you have vegetables. Because one of the things you want to do is you still want to have stuff that you can chew. And that's important for your, that's why whenever you do like a, a like some type of a surgery or, or 
a procedure, especially if it comes with, with your intestines, with your stomach or anything. They want you, they put you on some type of a juice or, I mean, not juice, but, you know, a, a water, liquid not water, but a liquid diet. Right. Um, they, and, and obviously, but as soon as you are able to start consuming some meats, like chew, not meats, but food, chewable stuff, they want you to start incorporating that. Of course, they, they say slowly. One of the reasons is obviously you don't want to overconsume yourself because your body is your, your, your stomach's going to shrink. But one of the benefits with chewing, obviously, is it helps the intestine, your intestinal, your intestines to work to to uh, assist in how to break down. The benefits of soup, of course, is again like I spoke about, especially if it's you know real soup, like like pure soup, and the nutrients that you get in that, you don't lose the nutritional value in the food because that's why it's good to like when you even if you um, if you bake. It's good to keep your your meats and stuff moist because when you dry it out, that's when you start to lose the, the nutritional value of a lot of the food. So by keeping it in like a soup, you maintain that nutritional value. And then if you drink that, you get so much nutritional value. And it, it is a great detox. It's a detox for, one, for no other reason, for, if not for any other reason, that the fact that you are able to you're not getting stuff stuck into your intestine, your small and large intestines, into your colon. The stuff is just flowing; it's liquid, mm -hmm. so it's not going to this. It's not going to set in. It's not going to set on you like if you was chewing like red meat. Or yeah, but we're we are herbivores by nature. We're not carnivores. We just uh, somewhere down the line something caught on fire and somebody smelt it and said oh that smelled good that's a bob we gonna call this a barbecue and we started eating that shit and we became carnivores but uh before we was eating off the the the, the land as far as the, the fruits and vegetables and that's why going back to you know overconsumption, um and this is like for homeowners and people who know that they're gonna have a residence for good decade uh plant some fruit trees in your backyard you'll be surprised on how tasty your fruits can become if you just take the time out to give it some nourishment because i have a peach tree in my backyard that we put back there i want to say a year and a half two years ago and this year this is the second year and the peaches are higher i mean i they're better than the peaches i get at the store so um uh, it, I'm definitely going to plant a persimmon tree because I like persimmons and uh, we have a cherry tree and uh, maybe an apple or orange tree someplace over there is is, is what I'm going to do just, just to have some some fruits around so that, you know, the kids when they want some fruits, we can, you know, and maybe you might want to do some research on year round type fruit bearing trees so that when one is out of bloom, the other one is blooming. I don't know if that exists, but you know. Yeah, the fruits are seasonal, just like uh, vegetables, and even and you no, know, we did talk about it probably about a month ago. We talked we talked about growing like herbs and and and, and I mean and we talked about the ones that are they can grow in the, like on the ground through the ground, even ones you can grow in house. So it, it is it is important to to have those options again for if no other reason again. For the healthy snack options or healthier snack options because if you go out and go to the store or if you go up the street you're going to find a fast food place or if you go in the store you're not i would say you're not going to be snacking on on almonds and, and middle of the night you're not most of the, most people aren't going to be snacking on almonds and blueberries or berries you're not going to be snacking on on watermelon and 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 you're not going to be snacking on like a, a little cup of Greek yogurt, or you're not going to be snacking on broccoli, you know, celery, and carrots. Most of the time, you have the urge, you and you feel that you're you are you're, you're you're programmed in your mind, and and your sensors are telling you that you need this sugar. Mm -hmm. And that's typically what what draws you to even want to snack. A lot of times, is is the triggering of the mind. That, fit, that 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 endorphin that it releases the tongue says you need sugar 
So yeah, you want something sweet. So uh, I tell you, there's like I said, so so that's why it's so important to uh, I always say the P principle: proper preparation prevents poor performance. So if you properly prepare your meals or snacks or properly prepared by going out and buying the snacks or growing your snacks, it's going to save you um, not just financially, but it's going to save you from any fallback or any any unwanted gains in, in short and long term. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and to add, uh, Get yourself a juicer. If you don't like eating fruit, everybody likes fruit juice. And having natural fruit juice, I mean, spend the money on a good quality juicer. It is worth it. Uh, the expensive part of it is um, always going and finding fruits and stuff like that. So you may have to get more creative on um how you ingest some of your fruits. That's why I suggested this is a, you know, 10 year or more plan, plant some trees in your backyard, some fruit trees, and you'll have an abundance of fruits for juicers. That's where I was leading to. But otherwise, go to some of these uh, farmers markets that pop up in, in neighborhoods now. So you can buy locally owned and grown uh, fruits and veggies that are, uh, you know, you're giving back to your community to help your communities grow. Um, that's part of you know how if you want to start seeing your community grow stop shopping in out of your community and just keep giving in, only in your own community maybe you know that's Absolutely. where you some change you know? i mean that's a great way to do it and yeah a juicer or uh, something that makes movies whatever it, it is Lender. it is it is so it, it is it's rewarding and especially if you have like a family, particularly if you have kids, mm -hmm. it's rewarding because now you're not just you're not just make, doing something healthy. You're not just doing something healthy for you. You're doing something healthy for for your family. You're doing something together as a family, and you're teaching them. Um, so it's so many. It's, there's, there's so we talk about not just fitness and health. We talk about all these benefits. All these benefits go back to your health. Because if you're having, if you're laughing. Laughter is a, is, a, is a great deterrent for stress. Laughter mm -hmm. is a great remedy for depression. So if you're smiling, if you're laughing, you're doing things with your family, if you're clowning around, uh, maybe throw a food fight. I don't recommend it, but hey, you know, it's okay if you do. Um, um, Just like do it at a restaurant, not at your own home. Uh, don't tell them AG of the Dead told you to do that because I don't um, do as I say, not as I do, because I don't do that. So if you're confused, so am I. Anyway, shit talking exactly. Sundays, every day, shit talking Sundays. <laughs> but yeah, just just doing stuff like that, it, it, it makes it makes a huge difference. And like I said, uh, if nothing else definitely prepares by snacking before you go out, or if you're running around, uh, get go invest. If you don't have one, get a little mini cooler. You can get a little one for 10, 15 bucks. You can find one at like a Ross or or uh, Marshalls or something. You can find them anywhere. Just get a little mini one, just enough to pack a couple of snacks with you, um, or and or definitely invest into um, like a like a smoothie, like a ninja or uh, some type of a bullet or something to help you in mm -hmm. to to our juicer. Do something to help to stay that to, to have those things on hand on deck, and 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 look at you no, know, not saying be be locked into the minute. But at least be in the uh, a ballpark, a thirty-minute window of when you snack and or when you eat, so that you don't be eating, so you don't eat every single hour or whatever the case. Um, mm -hmm. and those are some great, great things that will avoid you from overconsuming and or overgaining what you don't want to put on. Absolutely, yep, yep, yep. Um, I mean. Any last minute jewels you want to give to the folks out there? And if you haven't liked, share, subscribe, or hit that notification button, uh, then you ain't shit talking Sunday's fans. So um, if you want more info and you want to see us grow, you need to share, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. I can't stress enough for you to share. 
because the more you share, the bigger we're going to get. And, you know, you never know where this is going to take you in a health journey. And the whole point of doing this is to inspire many. So uh, we we reach out and inspire you. You you share this with a friend or a family member, and and it, it, the, the train discontinues. That's how that's how we turn this whole this pandemic of of obesity and 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 overconsumption and diabetes and high blood pressure, high high blood sugar levels. All these things, high cholesterol, all these things that are absolutely preventable, that can be prevented or that can be managed. All these things that can be done is by you, each one teaching one, by spreading the word. It doesn't mean that they're going to take it and they're going to apply it. Trust me, I have family, I have friends, I talk to them about healthy choices and different things in their lifestyle all the time. And I talk to clients all the time about making changes it doesn't mean that they're not they're going to do it but at least if you're sharing it gives an opportunity to say well i'm not going to fall by lack of knowledge mm-hmm. you may have to you know like reason why they have to why like, reason why you, if you watch a tv show or if you listen to the radio you hear about you hear a commercial are you i mean everyone's in the streaming now you're watching your streaming shows on mm-hmm. streaming devices the reason why they show these commercials over and over and over again is because they have studies and science about the psychological mind. And if you continue to hear something, uh, the, the, the chances of you actually going out and buying it or doing it are, are, are higher. So if you're sharing this with people, you're sharing the show, whether it's the fitness tip of the week, whatever show, Stacia Sherry, whether it's Pastor Phil, Whoever it is, uh, if it's MS Warriors, whatever you're, whatever you're sharing, if you share it with them, and just, just, what does it cost? You send people, you send your family, you send your friends, you send your coworkers emails and texts all the time. Just send it to them. Like I said, if you keep sending it to them, keep sending it to them. Maybe one day, one of the topic headers, or maybe one day they might, have, they might be bored, or they might be traveling. Or they might be just laying around idle and thinking about snacking. Or one day they may accidentally just press the button and press play by accident, just butt dial in it. And they may hear something that may trigger it. It may trigger the most high they want to works, do something. Yeah, the most high works in mysterious ways. So you just don't n- never assume that something is going to be as it is. Because not everything is what it seems. Sometimes there's a higher power controlling what's going down, you know. Um, I didn't just decide one day, um, I mean, this wasn't planned for me to make shit talking Sundays was not something that I said, uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, let's try it. Uh, and we started talking about it. And then, uh, a year later it became, this was something that just eventually it just came to me as an idea with a couple of friends and we we I wound up running with it because nobody else wanted to get involved with it and and it just took on a whole different avenue because it was initially going to be a podcast where uh, we were just going to talk shit all day but now it's about turning shit talking into positivity and why does shit talking have to be negative and synonymous with negativity so now we want y'all to learn something. The title is just to get your attention. Now that we got your attention, learn some shit. Think deeper. Think outside the box. Uh, Vince the Beast, I want to thank you for uh, you know giving us a, a fitness tip. Uh, once again, 916-410-1950 will get you a personal consultation uh, with Vince the Beast. And I, and I still... My challenge is still open to anybody that wants to uh, challenge me to a let's see who can get in better shape. Um, we'll measure ourselves and uh, and we'll see who's in better shape uh, 30 days or 60 days or 90 days later. If anybody's open to it, if you beat me, I will take care of your first 
training session with Vince the Beast. If I beat you, you take me to dinner. And I said, once again, I don't want no cheap dinner. I want a nice steak dinner. The, uh, value for value, like for like. Okay. Speaking of like, hit that like button. Hit that notification button. If you learned something today, please share with somebody else because there's somebody out there that's over consuming that could maybe learn something from the show today. And if they didn't learn, maybe it'll pique their interest to come back on another episode when we're talking about something else. And I also said very soon in one of these upcoming episodes, we are definitely going to be in a working out environment. So make sure that you tune in for that. Um, his number is there. If you want his email address, here's his email, fitnessmajor at gmail.com, teamfitnessmajor.com. And uh, if you want to talk shit to me, talk shit to me. Here's my number, 912-486-5010. Um, man, once again, thanks, Vince the Beast. Uh, looking forward to talking to you next week because I know it's, it's going to be a good one. Uh, I can't let y'all know about it out there uh, because um, we just don't want to talk about it right now. We want you to just tune in, find out. You'll get to see and hear some really interesting uh, fitness tips next week. But um, that guy right there is the beast, Vince the Beast to be exact, from Team Fitness Major. This guy right here is AG the Dad with Shit Talking Sundays. Uh, be blessed, bless one, pay it forward. Um, and anything else that you could think that's positive, hey, man, I'm all for it. With that being said, uh, love one another. I'm out. Peace. Peace. Shit Talk to Sundays, Fitness Tip of the Week.